Hello everybody. This is Thursday night. Hubby's done went to bed. I'm probably fixing to go to bed. I don't feel good. Um, I'm hurting. My hip and back hurts. And that's just got me feeling real bad. But I've had Gracie all day today. And she actually got in here with me and helped me do some more organizing in my room. And I have switched some things around. So, I uh, wanted to update y'all and show y'all. And that'll be my video for today. She's supposed to come back again in the morning for a little while. But I shouldn't have her all day long. But I hope I feel better tomorrow. Oh, okay, y'all. I'm gonna turn this around. And, in other words, I'm gonna cut the video off. Turn this around to show y'all. And then, I'll add them together. Okay, I can't hardly think because I'm hurting so bad. Alright, I'll let you go. I hope y'all can hear me because I've got my little fan on over there and the ceiling fan on up there. All right, I'll turn, be right back. Hang tight. Okay, I'm back. So, this table is basically the same. My sewing station right here. But I've changed how the painting station looks. So, the big thing that I had sitting there with all my paints in, I moved it. I left that, and I have moved my paintbrush carousel. It turns, or does it? Maybe it don't. Okay, just sit still. And then I took up the painting. I just didn't like it. They would move and not stay in place. And it wasn't laying down totally flat. So I can lay them out when I need to paint something. I don't really paint that often. And then Grace's station is the same. Okay, the sewing cart that was right here. I guess I'm going to have to unfold y'all to really move around good and show you. So I have organized the sewing cart so this is my little sewing machine yes it's a kid's sewing machine and so this is uh i hadn't used it much so it's projects that came with it to practice and learn how to use it and that's what i have in here with it to work on now i do have another crochet project that i had been working on and i hadn't touched in a while this one here looks like it was another little round thing and I didn't quite get it finished. And then that's just some more white yarn. And this is my bowl that Mr. Lewis made me. Okay, and then this is the petal that come with the sewing machine, the sewing machine papers, and the little sewing machine toolbox that came with it. So that's on that. The second shelf is a tray of needles, pins, that sort of thing. This is like a little bitty sewing kit I had put together in a medicine bottle. That's a muffin pan my sister decorated me a long while back. And then this is another tray here with some more sewing projects in it that I had started a while back and never finished. Uh, so I've got that there and this is a small container of embroidery thread like I've got I got big ones over there oh this is just some little socks I had bought I was gonna make some projects with that and then this is a little thing that I was keeping and then this here let me pull my make my chair go down this here is a net bag that you're supposed to wash clothes in, but I've got a bunch of little bitty square materials in there that I have had. Y'all, I had this. I cut them up back in Vicksburg. I was going to make a wreath with them. Started out with it, and it never, I never finished it. So I got those that I'm going to work in with that project slow stitch in there. And on the bottom is my big bag of cotton, some material, and this bag of stuff 
that I think came from the thigh that I don't get anymore. And what is this? Oh, this is another bag with some little fabrics and materials in, and I just stuck them there. So that is my sewing cart. All right, my painting cart, and I have the thing that I made and put on magnets, I've moved it around to the side here so it wouldn't hang in the way. But then I have these two pictures of Nona Grace and Vicky. So this is Nona Grace and her channel is Nona Grace. This is Vicky and her channel is Living in the Moment. And uh, they have both sent me pictures. Okay, but I have all my paints sitting up here on top. This is uh, back here. Is that kind and that kind. And then here, this is an assemblage project that I had started. And all the stuff that I need for it. So I've kept it laying there. And I will, because I can just pick that up, move it to my painting area and start working on it. And this is the paints and things that I was using with it. Then on the bottom, I just have my tripod until I need to use it because I really need a place for it. And all that's down there is my paint paper that I took up off my table, my paint cup to rinse my paint brushes in, and that there is the mosaic, no, stained glass stuff that goes with my stained glass paint. So that is my paint cart. I have not touched the top of those over there. They'll be last when I do the closet. Because I may do like putting some of that stuff in my closet if I can never get my closet redone. Okay. I've done my journal cart. So, in here... It's my stack of coloring books and pencils that I'm coloring on and pencil sharpener. Okay, and then this is my tray. This is a journal book. And I didn't set that back across there, right? And this is a journal book that I was working on, and I'm not through with it. So I just had it laying here. All right, this is a bunch of zipper bags or pouches, whatever you want to call them, that has different things in it for different types of journal crafting. And then this is some bigger books and other books and things that I had started and I had gotten at the antique store for the purpose of making journals with. So I left them in there. Okay, or, you know, made them nicer and neater and put like things with like things. And that's gonna sit there. Now, I have done some more rearranging with this. Remember, my carousel was up there. So, I've moved the hot gun, the heat gun, back here. Okay, remember, I had it on the heart table. But I've switched the heart tables around. If you'll recall, one has a broke glass top. And that's the one I had this down in. And it was right here while well, I've switched them. So this one is the broke one. All of my punches is in that one. No, it ain't. I'm getting, con no, yes. Oh, boy, I can get confused so easy. So I have my punches in there. And then I just have those two things sitting on there. And I hope this is okay. This is the pointed part of the heart. You know, it hangs off a little bit on both sides. But that's them two bags. And all I got to do is sit them down. And reach in and get punches if I need them. And then I put my carousel here. And it turns good. With all of that. Okay. I have that. That's pictures and stuff to scrapbook with. This is also pictures. This one to scrapbook with. This is scrapbook pages. Papers. That is like these right here. But bigger. And then. That big bucket. And this. And this and this. It's just sitting there. That's just sitting there. And I had this one, which, which is also more pouches of journal kits and things I'd put together to work on in there. And then, yes, me and Gracie, Gracie had to fix this her way. By the way, she also, hang on, I'm trying to move my cloth here so you can see. She also, the punches, 
in the hard table. She had to arrange them in there the way she wanted to, so I let her. She had to arrange this the way she wanted to. I would have probably done this different. These are some of the ones that was already under there, and some wasn't, and I've added to it. That's the basket over there that I put the loose stuff that had fell off the top of here. I actually really want to go through that, but I had gotten tired by this time and really didn't care. She put my boxes back there, and then these here, and this... This is the one I had my paints in that I moved right there. So I've put, this was a lot of the loose and bags of kits from Defy of journal stuff that was on top of this that was falling off. So I put them in there. I'd like to go through those and see if I could get them in there as well. And then my basket will be empty again because I still hadn't decided what I want to use that basket for. So... Really and truly, I would really like to not have all this under my table and not have all this on the floor. I would really like to have a taller table, you know, something like this, with enough room to set it all on. But I don't have one, and if I had one, I don't have nowhere in here to put it. Unless, you know, I was thinking maybe I can move Gracie's. I don't know how she would like that idea. Move Gracie's desk to over there towards her corner. And then I'd have this room to add a table. Maybe to put it all on. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all, I just got too much stuff. I know. But I want it all. I want to work with it all. I don't want to get rid of anything. And I still have my closet to go through. And the top of that, I want to make it look nicer. It don't look good at all. And that's not where I, where or how I want my globe, you know. But I'm just, right now, I don't feel good. I'm hurting, so I can't even think about doing that. I don't even know when I'll get to those, okay. This kind of may be the end of my organizing for a while. I have to get in the mood. I have to feel good. I have to not be hurting to actually feel like doing this stuff, you know. But I wanted to update y'all on that and show you. Alright, guys. I'm fixing to get off of here. I don't feel good. I don't like not feeling good. So, I'm just gonna go... Uh, I guess go get ready for bed. Of course, I'll play my games, read my book, maybe even watch a few more videos. But anyway, here's the jumping beans. They're asleep. Alright. I will let y'all go. Hope y'all like my room the way I've rearranged it. And I will put this up. Get it going up. Uh I'll see y'all later. Bye.